This is not how I wanted to start Vlogmas. When I think of Vlogmas, I don't think of floor refurbs. However, we were meant to finish last weekend and it took us a bit longer than we had anticipated. I also cleaned my teeth after my lunch today and I spilled toothpaste down myself and no amount of wet wipes is getting this out. I'm appalled that I'm vlogging with toothpaste down my t-shirt but I thought if I wasn't vlogging today I would have just put my coat on to go pick Delilah up from preschool and come home and no one would know so um I haven't got time to go get changed so please excuse this it was clean on today. If you have no idea what I'm talking about a couple of months ago we ripped up the carpet in the hallway and sanded it. We thought we'd start in the hallway as a way to test the waters and see what our floorboards were like. They came up so well that we thought we'd do the living room as well. For the last week our kitchen has looked like this. And last night we finally finished five days later than we wanted to. Before I show you the end results let's go back to some point at the end of September where it all began and fill you in with um, everything we've been doing. We have a few hours to ourselves this evening, so we've decided to get a head start on sorting the hallway floor out. Carpet's gone. Now we're taking out the underlay, which is stapled to all the corners. And then this evening, we are going to take all of these out. We're thinking we need to replace these floorboards. Some of them um, have some massive gaps and are a little bit creaky, but overall these aren't looking too bad. And the only boards that look a bit iffy around here are the boards by the gas and electrics where they've obviously had to be um where they've had to be bought up over the years. Once you sort of the floor and we know we're happy with the floor, we will get a carpenter to come in and do us some under under stair storage so we can have somewhere for shoes and um, we can have somewhere for our coats and the hoover and it looks um, a lot tidier because you don't have to stare at it when you walk down the hallway. Nails are going back in the floorboards. Doug's, obviously this needs to be straightened out, and but Doug's managed to save most of the original ones. I really like what these ones look like. I don't think you can really get these ones anymore. We're using these for the boards that you can see, so it matches up with the other ones. I'm really hoping we can get this to blend in with these floorboards. And then under the stairs where you can't see them, uh, we will just use whatever nails that we have. You know, I mean business when the hair goes up, the dungarees go on, and the ring comes off. We've got our masks, we've got our goggles. We've just tested a patch under the stairs with some 80, 80 grit sandpaper. We're now gonna try and do the bulk of the floor. Well, I say we, Doug's gonna do the big machine and I'm going to do the smaller handheld one around the edges. We hired this along with a smaller one. We are almost done with sanding. The main bulk has been done. We just need to go around the edges now. They're really hard to do, even with the edging sander that we have. But the floor has come up really nicely. We need some wood stain for the two big boards that we replaced. Don't know which one to get. And there's no testers, we thought there'd be testers. I am currently clearing out the living room, ready to get the 
the carpet up in here. We're finally going to um, do the floor in here so it matches the hall. getting on right. and the only floorboards we're replacing are these two here i've done a bit of a makeshift tile protector around the fireplace just cut up a cardboard box and i've weighed weighed it down with some books moving everything out because it's time to start sanding there you go, I'm going to use this here. Yeah, that's where I was going to say cover that. It's been a few hours and it's not quite going as planned. So far, Doug has done this. All this dark brown stuff was varnish and for some reason, please tell me if anyone knows, I think it's quite common to only have it around the borders of floors but why is it just the border and not the whole of the floor why doug's been having a really hard time at getting it up because as soon as the sander gets to it it just goes really tarry so it uses up a lot of sheets and obviously it needs a lot to get through it all but where he has managed to get it up it looks amazing but we've still got all this to do and he's not even been able to touch um the middle part i am going to go get the stain that i used for in the hallway to go stain um these new um, floorboards which will just need darkening just a little bit we took our blind down um because i did not want to have to clean that slash and um, the dust honestly it does it gets everywhere even on the walls we'll have to wipe all the walls down I have this spare bit of wood because i'll tell you why i don't want to use too much of this because it'll be too dark i'd much rather do a couple of coats and layer it up so what i did last time popping it on here and then just kind of get in all of that concentrated varnish or well it's not varnish it's wood dye off a bit because that's too dark and then i go on to the um the wood here and then i can just kind of like really quickly rub it in and drag it out so that it's not too dark It's now very echoey in here. We need to get our furniture back in. But uh, last night we, I finished the final coat of varnish and it's all done. I'm really happy with how it's turned out. Let me go get the varnish because I've been getting, I hope it's not too echoey in here. I've been getting a lot of questions about what varnish we use. So let me get it. We use this Ronsil clear matte varnish with these Harris brushes these are the three inch ones although on here it says to use a four inch or bigger these work just fine i didn't want a varnish that was going to be really glossy and i found this matte varnish i had to order it online because um i could couldn't find any matte varnishes in any of us any of our local stores and as you can see in the light it has a little bit of a sheen just enough that it looks 
well maintained and um, in good condition but nothing that's really glossy it's got a really lovely finish but it's still got this rawness to it but without it being kind of undone and untreated moving out of there because it's so echoey in there that's probably quite annoying it's still echoing a bit here i'm hoping the varnish holds up i've not had i've not seen good reviews on their glosses and their colored varnishes i feel like the clear matte varnish is very forgiving it took three coats so on wednesday night i didn't no hang on not wednesday night that was last night tuesday night tuesday night i did um one coat and then the following the following so yesterday afternoon i did another coat it only needed a couple of hours between coats which is really handy because a lot of varnishes say you have to leave them for eight to 24 hours and it's really difficult when you're trying to do your hallway and even if it was just doug and i and we didn't have delilah the hallway is kind of an, an essential gateway to all the rooms so um, we needed something that was going to dry quite quick and then i did the third coat last night before we went to bed so we had to be quite strategic i'd start in the start in the living room then go from the kitchen round here and literally paint myself to the stairs and then go upstairs to bed oh before we did the third coat last night we went along with a 240 grit hand sand like a sanding block and just got any roughness off because obviously when you put any moisture into wood it um pricks up a bit so it's just smoothing it out again and then did the final coat oh let's show you these so these came today i'm very aware that i need to go get delilah soon so if you've got any other questions regarding floors ask away in the comments if you watched my blog where i showed you um, some new home bits um, including some lights that I've got for the hallway and the living room. You all know that we're going to be putting a new light up in the living room soon. <laughs> I cannot wait. The light that we got is a light that goes, it plugs into the wall and you hang it up. And we're going to convert it and have it as a ceiling light. So it needed a rose. I ordered this gold rose from Dalson and Reynolds. I saw them on Instagram years ago and um, ever since I was like, whenever I'm going to buy any switches or plug sockets, I'm going to buy from them. There's been a bit of a mix up with the orders, but they've been great. So they initially sent me this, this one, but with two holes in and I ordered just the singular hole. And then I ordered some light switches and I wasn't sure on the colour. I originally ordered silver and I wasn't keen on them. So I sent those back with the wrong rows. They sent me the right rows today, but they sent the wrong <laughs> They've sent the wrong bases for the um, light switches. But I messaged them this morning and a couple of hours later they'd already sent out new bases and I'm going to send these back to them tomorrow. Um, so they sent out, I don't really want to unwrap these, but they sent out the gold base and I just want the white base to then have the gold dimmer on. And then for the, for in the hallway we've got uh, three light switches and I ordered these again it will have a white base that clicks in over the top i went for toggles because i just thought they'd be a little bit different than traditional switches and then over time we'll slowly start replacing the kitchen ones and the bedroom ones but it's quite expensive to do it all in one go so we're just doing things as we go along probably more excited than i should be about changing light switches but it's just little things like that that really just make everything look put together before i go get delilah I'm going to take everything off the fireplace, have a bit of a tidy up in here, um, and if I've got time, wipe down the walls. We had the fireplace covered and dust still managed to get underneath the layer of cardboard and dust sheets. So I'll hoover that up later, but I don't want to um, put the hoover on this floor just yet. So it's dry, but it says leave it 24 hours before you put any furniture on. And then another 48 hours, so 72 hours from varnishing until it's completely durable as it should be. This is what I mean. Got all of that that's just come off the wall. I don't have time to wipe all the walls down, so I'm just going to do this one, and then I'm going to go get Delilah. And then when Doug gets back, we can start to get a few bits of furniture in here. We need to at least make sure there's a coffee table and a sofa in here, because this evening Doug and I have drinks with the parents from Delilah's preschool. We've got like a parents' games night thing. So his mum's going to babysit for an hour or two whilst we go to that, and she obviously needs somewhere to sit. 
I'm boiling and it's actually not that chilly today. So I've not gone for my usual coat and you can definitely see the toothpaste. <laughs> Got a load of recycling trapping me in. Monster biscuits having a treat after preschool. Do you have a good day? Yeah. Apparently someone called Mr. Toby came to see them. Mr. Toby? Yeah. Yeah, I did. No idea who that is. Oh lovely. This is from Next. I can actually um link this. Usually her stuff from Zara um are usually out of stock and I can't link it, but I should be able to link that. We spent a lot of time upstairs this week whilst downstairs has been all upside down. Right now Delilah's going through a Paw Patrol magazine and sticker book and we are mostly just sticking stickers on ourselves. One thing I do need to do is get back to the illustrator who's doing my illustrations for Vlogmas this year. So this year I have a lovely lady called Josie doing the Vlogmas end slate which you'll see at the end of this video and if you go onto my channel you'll see the banner and she's just sent me the banner. Oh, that's so cute. So you wanted to watch tea and my Tea and my Yeah. Yeah. Right now, Delilah and <laughs> Delilah and I. Hey, hey, hey. Delilah would like to watch some tea and mo. So that's what we're going to do. I want the um, I want the singing one. The singing one. Peace in the living room back together whilst Delilah has her dinner. Pop the legs back on the sofa. We had to take them off because we couldn't get the sofa through the door with them on. And I'm just going to pop these things which stick onto the bottom of them. We've lost a couple and some of them have slid off and we definitely don't want to scratch up our floor. Currently have my t-shirt in the wash hoping to get the toothpaste out. I put it on a quick wash and it didn't come out so I'm hoping a, a slightly longer wash will get it out. sofa looks so much better in here with the wood floor. I thought it would um, because the carpet just made it a bit wishy-washy and it's quite a dark room even in the summer it doesn't get much light. Don't mind me and my, my palm. <laughs> I've had to, <laughs> had to put it back until we get the Christmas tree in a couple of weeks and I don't have to get back in the kitchen. But yeah I remember thinking how much better um, this room would be with wood floor because it's quite a dark room and so it brightens it and it also there's a nice contrast between between the grey sofa and the floor I think looks much better. Update on a toothpaste gate. It's still there. It's not as bad as it was when I got it out from the first wash, but it's still. You guys see it? And I bet that's my fault because I was rubbing with water wipes earlier. Oh no. <laughs> So I've ordered a rug to go here because this is a little bit too matchy-matchy for my liking. Once inside a palace lived a young princess called Alice and Alice had a blankie that she always took to bed. Alice ran across the floor and hurried to the palace door. Night my lovely. Hello, and a kiss. And a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Love you. Tonight's outfit is uh, 
This is stripy tea and jeans. How original. <laughs> the stain on my Beatles tea is not coming out and I think I've realised why. I think it's bleached it. Anyway, these are new jeans uh, for those of you who maybe noticed. I have light blue jeans and I have my black jeans but I don't have kind of an in-betweeny dark blue that's good for this time of year. My light ones come up quite high on my leg, they're fairly skinny and my black ones from Topshop again are fairly skinny and they come up really cropped so I wanted something that was slightly longer that's going to cover my ankles for the winter. I'd been eyeing up some Levi's for a while. These are the ribcage straight leg, they're very high waisted, they actually cover my belly button and um, they're very comfy. I'm nervous to wash them because in the past when I've washed jeans and I'm going to do these on a cool wash and just hope that they don't shrink but in the past I've had jeans that have fitted me perfectly or near one perfect and then you wash them and they're too tight around my tummy and my bum. These are a perfect fit around my bum and my tummy but I wouldn't want them any bigger on my legs and um, around my waist they're actually baggy and they gape a little bit. I do find that Levi's are really long so I tried on another pair that I ordered on ASOS. They were my usual leg, I think they were 30 or 32 and they drowned me so I ordered these which are a 27 waist and a 20, no hang on, yeah 29 leg and a 27 waist. <laughs> and they are so long I've had to roll them up, I'm going to get them taken up because I just want them to have a normal hem I feel a bit silly with them rolled up. Perfect if you've got long legs and if you're on the shorter side um, make sure you size down a lot with the leg because they do come up really long. We're going to be leaving in the next five ten minutes so I'm going to say goodbye now because I'm not going to be vlogging when we're out. Only a handful of the mums know what I do and those who do I don't think they watch much YouTube and um, they're sort of like oh yeah yeah, that's that's nice. I don't quite under understand it, I don't think so. But yeah, I'm certainly not bringing bringing my vlogging camera, so I may as well um, end the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed um, enjoyed this vlog. Quite a few of you asked me if I had filmed the process of us doing them, so I'm glad I did film the process. First vlog was down. I can't believe I'm saying that. I don't know. I know everyone says this, but I don't know where the year has gone. I, I honestly don't. And this November just went by and I just need the last little bit of the year to just slow down. I will see you for vlogmas day two where it'll be a little bit more of a conventional vlog. Here's to vlogmas, who's excited? I'm really excited, I love I love this time of year, it's my favourite time of year and I don't know how many years I've done vlogmas, I've done it a lot of years now and a lot of you have also been around for all those many years of vlogmas. Uh, yes, anyway, I will see you in the next vlogmas, bye!